I hear something out there again. And I'm willing to bet it's a couple more green ladies. Oh yeah, that's definitely another screamer. But I think we're pretty safe in here, so we're going to finish making a bunch more bandages. I think we've got enough stuff to make 22 more of the first aid bandages. Oh yeah, there she is, right there. Oh, and she brought a friend with her too. They usually seem to spawn in two at a time out here in the desert area. I'll just turn on our generator, power up our shotgun and SMG turrets. They should take care of these girls real quick and anybody else that they call in. And there's a second scream to bring in more of their friends with them. Welcome back everybody. My apologies, we have taken a little bit of a jump in time here. The last three horde nights in the forest biome were... They were they were boring. They suck. You see, I went up to Trader Hugh in the snow biome, and I bought a SMG turret from him. We'd already bought the shotgun turret from Trader Wrecked, and once I set those up, they were destroying everything on Horde Night. Actually, on the last Horde Night, I walked away, went and made some coffee, sat on the deck and drank my coffee during the Horde Night. In this playthrough, it was never my intention to make an AFK base, but that's that's what it ended up turning out to be. Now everything is turned up to run speed. I do not have zombie feral sense turned on yet, but I think that might be coming soon. Also, we built this base out in the desert. I'll give you a little base tour here in a little bit. It seems to be working pretty good with the constant screamers that are coming in. I mean, my god, you can't sneeze out here without a screamer spawning in. Also, while roaming around in the snow biome when we went up to see Trader Hugh, I looted two or three police cars up there. I got a AK-45, not AK-45, AK-47 Tier 5. <laughs> ah, trying to concentrate on these zombies and talk at the same time doesn't work so well. But anyways, we also bought a Tier 5 Fireman Axe and a Tier 5 Steel Pickaxe from Hugh. All made possible by all that junk that we put in one of the vending machines at Trader Wreck. So yeah, the vending machines still sell items to, I don't know, maybe zombies or other traders. I don't know, but it still works. And it took a while, but we made a shitload of money out of the vending machine just putting all our junk stuff in there. And I gotta tell you, I am enjoying this tier 3 machete. And I can't wait to get my hands on a tier 5 or tier 6 machete, especially with the few points that we have in deep cuts right now. So let's run over to the trader. We gotta turn in our last quest, just another tier 3 quest. I guess at some point there was an update that reset all the quests if you weren't already above tier 3. And I know there's a command that you can use to set your quest level, but... I've been enjoying just redoing the quest and getting some pretty decent loot out of them. I mean, the hey, quest I'm rewards kind of suck. Job, you got that I mean, job you know, done. look good what job. we got to choose from here. But the end loot on each quest, we've been getting some pretty good stuff out of them. Well, I'll be dipped. Sell you off a little bit of our stuff here and take... Uh, you know what, let's do another Let's easy quest. It's still Things tier 3, we can get these knocked now. out, get into tier 4 here pretty soon, so we'll just take a buried supplies. Ooh, can't pass up a backpack. Yeah, we got another cooking magazine anyway. Alright, we, we got it. One irradiated, and looks like just a couple other regular zombies. Yeah, yeah, she ran up on me pretty quick. I forgot we're on run speed on these now. I don't know why all of them don't run. Only, oh, it seems to be only a few of them running at us. Anyways, back to digging. Huh? Nobody showing up to the party this time. All right, back to digging. What the hell? Again with the same zombies? <laughs> Let the heads roll. <laughs> Scavenger Outfit 3. Shotgun Weekly. A couple shotgun shells. Yeah, not, not too bad for a blue bag. Oh, 
Yeah, kind of a shit buried supplies. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this lady's kicking our ass. <laughs> Ow. Oh, quit hitting me. Oh, get oh, rid of this stupid spider monkey guy. <laughs> Finally. Oh, is a bird going to come out? Yeah, he's coming. <laughs> Uh, we got our buried supplies and then we got our ass kicked. <laughs> well, let's get back to the trader and turn in this quest. That job was as hard as putting socks on a rooster. Yeah, shit, Where'd I don't work? know. I guess 200 gunpowder. I guess that's what we're going to go with. Check these out. Another job, please. I've got a little coin if Clear the, the White Hill race. Church of well, God. Right Consider then. it done, buddy. Oh, four of you in here, huh? One, two, three, four. All done. Harvesting Tools Magazine would take it. Locked door, no problem. Salvage tools, blade crafting, and bow hunters. Spear Hunter, yeah, we might use it sometime. And Vehicle Reserve Fuel Mod. We'll put that on the motorcycle real soon. If I remember right, there's a spot down here where a couple of zombies hide. And last time we did this, we got our front teeth kicked out. Uh, oh yeah, right back here. That's where it was. Hello? Anybody in here? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot about that collapsing floor, too. Ah, jeez, where'd you come from? Corny bones. Oh shit, behind me. I forgot about that hiding spot too. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> Three of you. Hey, thanks for the blue bag. Free cloth, I'll take it. That must be a zombie outside, I hear. Ouch. Don't hit me, ouch. <laughs> oh, they're overwhelming us. <laughs> the machete's not doing it. It's time to pull out a gun. <laughs> I know I want to do this as much as I can with knives, but <laughs> yeah, there, there just comes <laughs> oh, there comes a point in time when you got to pull a gun out. <laughs> There's just no way around it. <laughs> All right, where's the last group of these guys hiding? 
<laughs> I don't need cloth that bad right now. Let's just find the rest of them and get this done. Shotgun magazine and brawling magazine. Uh, oh, geez. There's a safe, too. <laughs> uh, we forgot to grab block picks from this base. <laughs> That's all right. We'll, we'll break into it. Hopefully, it's worth it. There better not be some junk in here. <laughs> and a yeah, couple of bucks in a bipod mount. Yeah, it wasn't worth it. Well, here we are. Here's our main loot. Now we still have to find the rest of the zombies yet. Spear crafting. Eh, I don't know if we'll make any spears, but what the hell. Salvage tools magazine. Hydraulics magazine and two wiring magazines. No help yet, but it all adds up. And just some more regular old junk. Ah, uh, damn it, we still don't have any lock picks. Now we gotta break into this one. Yeah, salvage tools and some ammo, a couple of little bits and pieces. We use a band-aid right now. Glass, we can get rid of that. Take the scope, we can sell that for a little bit of money. Alright, let's go find the rest of the group here and clear the area. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot you right in the nuts. My bad, that was a low blow. Alright, let's get out of here and head back to the trader. There you are. What uh, can I do for you today? I, know, I guess concrete mix. What the hell? You name it. Old Bob's got it. I ain't getting any more of that. Indeed. Oh, sounds like we've got an airdrop coming in. Guess we're going to have to go run and grab that, too. Forge ahead. We've already read all of those. Drum magazine mod. We'll, we'll take that. A couple other good magazines in there. Hubcap landmines. I don't know. We might make some of those someday just to have some fun. So let's go get rid of this infection. Then we'll go up and see Jen. See if she has anything interesting for sale. Well, look what the cat dragged. Your health, my priority. A couple more vehicle magazines. Buy those for sure. Shotgun Weekly, yeah, why not? A couple more wiring magazines, yeah, we got the money, why not? Knife Guy Magazine, hell yeah. Lucky Looter Volume 3, and we'll finish it with an Urban Combat Magazine. We can make Tier 3 batteries now, but we've found enough batteries already, I'm not going to worry about it. So yeah, this is the outside of our base here. We've got stairway going up 
And up at the top, we've got angled gates so that as the zombies stack up, it kind of pushes them back off. They fall down. It's more than 15 blocks high, so they don't go into destroy all or rage mode when they hit the ground. And up top here, when the zombies get all the way up to the top of the ladder, not only do they get pushed off, but they get blasted in the face by a SMG and a shotgun turret. And the outside area is covered with the one meter blocks that are hollow in the center. The zombies don't seem to like going over those at all. Then inside, once you, once you get inside here and get the door shut, you have to jump up to these two ladders, which the zombies don't see it as a viable path. So it helps keep them from beating on the door and trying to break in. And the other hatch next to it is just a, a hatch with a angled block underneath it so that I can drop grenades and pipe bombs down on them. We'll get into a little bit better of a base explanation here in the next episode. There is a couple things I want to change like adding another ladder outside because if they break the one ladder they've got no choice but to break into the building. And I might even add a third access up here for them just as a like a fail safe. I'd like to thank everybody for hanging out with me today. Once again sorry for having to jump ahead in the playthrough here like we did and I sincerely hope to catch you in the next episode. It is already recorded and I should have it done and put out by Sunday night maybe Monday morning at the latest. And until then I hope to see you in the next one.